Hi, I'm Sarah. Thank you for joining me to talk about self-care. I am a journalist and I focus on writing about health and also a wellness educator. Today, I'd like to talk with you about a very simple practice that um, can make your brain happier. And that is uh, naming your emotions. So for example, um, I feel worried because I'm doing something new and I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Or I feel overwhelmed because I'm rushed. Um, that sort of thing. Uh, simply naming a feeling. You don't even have to attach it to the why, uh, although that adds an extra benefit. But there's, I think this is an interesting study. They had um, two groups of participants. And so in one set, they had the um, study volunteers look at pictures of people and simply give the people a name. So like, this is Joe, this is Jenny, just making up a name for the person in the photo. And then in the other set, they identified the emotion attached to the facial expression. So, you know, scared, worried, frustrated, sad, whatever the thing was. And then they did um, brain scans of the different groups. And basically what they found was in the group that ascribed an emotion to the picture, um, the amygdala, which is the part of the brain that's uh, connected to um, fear and threat and sort of the, the stress response that's in the brain and goes throughout the body. The amygdala had less activity for the people who gave the people an emotion. Um, so indicating basically that naming the emotion on these people's faces was actually calming to the brain versus looking at people that had different emotions and not naming their emotions, simply naming them as people. Um, so again, what that tells us is you can actually see visual, you know, brain scan evidence that naming emotions is calming. And so we can use that in our own lives um, as just getting in a simple practice or habit. Um, and I think that one reminder um, is, you know, as my good friend Elizabeth always says, emotions are not good or bad or right or wrong. They are just information that can help guide us. And of course, so there are skillful and helpful ways to deal with our emotions and also not so skillful or helpful ways, uh, unhelpful ways to deal with them. So anyhow, um, if you can kind of get into a practice of, uh, if you're feeling just a little unsettled or off, just kind of stop inside and say, what am I feeling right now? And just find the different words. Um, and then again, extra bonus points uh, for your brain, for your spirit, for your heart, if you can identify why you're feeling that way as well. And um, you can just practice this throughout the day internally. And uh, it doesn't have to just be negative emotions or what we see as negative emotions. It can be anything. So I feel joy because I'm looking out at the stars. Um, and I'm looking to this sheet here. So this is something, I, well, first of all, I would say this is a practice um, that adults, of course, benefit from, but we can really model this for children. And in speaking out loud about our feelings um, in an age appropriate way, of course, um, so that they get used to being comfortable with feelings and identifying them. Uh, and then we can help them when they're very young to name their feelings when they don't perhaps quite have the vocabulary or the full awareness yet. And so you can find one of these um, sheets, I'm sure with a little search online, just like an emotions chart. And this is really helpful for kids. Um, but again, if you as an adult wanna, you know, put this up and remind yourself is a great reminder. And uh, you can have kids go through and, and pick, you know, maybe how are you feeling right now? And and have them find one of these emotions uh, so that they start to get the language of it um, and, and maybe create some of your own little circles uh, because the more, um, you know, emotions are really nuanced and oftentimes also we're feeling more than one emotion. Also, even about the same event or the same situation, we can be feeling multiple emotions. And so that can be really confusing or overwhelming or just unsettling if we don't understand 
what's all going on there. But when you can tease it out, you know, what are the different emotions that are going on with this? It's just really, really calming and soothing to us. So that's something that you can practice. Um, one little way to do that uh, that I think can be kind of fun is um, say at dinner time, you know, whether it's you with yourself or you as a roommate or a partner or with your family. Um, I like the, uh, you may have heard of this, but the rose bud thorn activity where you say, what was your rose, your highlight of the day or the best part of the day? Um, what was your thorn, kind of the bummer of the day, the thing that, that bothered you or upset you? the most that day. And then your bud, which is um, something that you're looking forward to or something that inspired you, or an idea that you have um, for the future or that you wanna work on. So um, this is something that we do with our family a lot of times and you can learn a lot more about each other and also about yourself. And then it helps us to see um, you know, how much our emotions do change throughout the day and that there are kind of highs and lows and ebbs and flows and that that's all just a part of life. So I think that's a fun practice. Um, and you can also, uh, you know, journaling with this stuff is also really valuable and adults and children alike can do this. And if you just want to get into the practice of being more aware of your emotions, journaling can be a really great way to do that at the end of the day, um, to just sit down and jot, maybe you jot down four different emotions that you had from the day. Um, and also why you had those emotions. Um, and then I would also point you to, I have another video um, about emotions and you can check that one out to give an, a way of looking at emotions as like the weather that can be helpful right now, but um, to tie into this whole piece. But I did just wanna give that little tool that simply finding the, the label, the name, the description of the emotion really is um, good for your brain. So thank you for joining me. And um, you can, if you're interested in this type of content, please uh, go ahead and subscribe so that you'll see when more things uh, come on. And feel free to tell your friends if you know people that you think would benefit from um, some of these tools. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.